What is good with the YouTube fight fans all over the world? It's your boy, the realest of the real. Yes, sir, I said it. Real talk boxing. It is a privilege and honor and a major blessing to be back with you beautiful people yet again. It is official like a referee with a whistle. Anthony Joshua versus Francis Nanganu. Later this year in Saudi Arabia. Did you think it would be anywhere else? I just want to say this. Props to Nanganu who is getting paid a heck of a lot more than he's been getting paid in the UFC fighting in his professional boxing career. He just took on Tyson Fury in Saudi Arabia, and there ain't no telling how much he made. There's no telling how much he made. If Big Baby Miller made $4.8 million, I guarantee you he probably doubled that. I'm happy for Nganu. Very happy. But this fight is official, man. It's confirmed. Um... I wasn't expecting this. I didn't see it coming, to be honest with you. I did not see it coming. But again, good for Francis Ngannou. I want to start out by saying this. I'm a little worried. Now, you know, we can't talk about this until we talk about his previous outing against Tyson, the Egyptian King, Fury, the lineal heavyweight champion of the world, his first professional boxing match. A lot of people say Ngannou won that fight. I think he did too. But you know, when it comes to a boxing match with an MMA fighter coming in, if it goes to distance, he's not getting the decision. That's just how it goes. I believe Tyson Fury looked over Nganu. I believe Tyson Fury underestimated him. And I believe Tyson Fury didn't train properly. But nevertheless, he got the W. Or was he gifted the W? Man, got a knockdown. Nganu showed sheer force and will, and he was not afraid. There was literally no fear in Nganu for Tyson Fury. None at all. You ever seen uh, After Earth, Will Smith and, and Jaden Smith, when they have to ghost? You know, ghosting means you get rid of all fear. That's how he was able to kill that big creature. I forget what the creature's name is, but he ghosted because the creature smells fear. So if you don't fear, it can't even see you, you blind. And that's what I had in mind when I saw Nganu versus Tyson Fury. He was not afraid, man. And that's why he did so good. Plus, he's big and he's strong. He's a force to be reckoned with. Here's what worries me about the fight with AJ. Now, of course, we're all going to give AJ the pugilist the benefit of the doubt. And we're going to give him an edge in the fight. But now, Nganu has those long orangutan arms. All right, And when he throws hooks, it tends to catch you on the ear, on top of the ear, or a little bit behind that ear. A la Andy Ruiz. Remember when Andy was hitting AJ across the top of the head, man, and on that ear, shaking his equilibrium up? He didn't take those punches well. So AJ, you better get in there, and you better get Francis out of there. Because I, I feel like the longer the fight, the more dangerous it is for AJ. And it should be vice versa. Because, you know, AJ is the pugilist. And Nagano's the MMA fighter. But Nagano is big. Him and, 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 and AJ has a similar frame. But Francis is just longer. Like, he has them go-go gadget arms. You know what I'm saying? And those, those hooks hit you in weird places. On your head, man. <laughs> like, places that uh, really mess you up. Equal, you know, the temple, top of the head, on the ear, behind the ear, on top of the ear. Them shots really jack you up, man. Like, they, they, they don't hurt, but they have you, they render you, they put you in another realm. I mean, when you get hit in those in those places on the head, you in a, you in a whole nother ionosphere, man. You like way out there in the Milky Way, like way out there. And you you can't talk, you can't function, you can't even hold a drool in your mouth. You're speaking English, or you think you're speaking English, but you uh, uh, that's how it sounds. Man, I've been hit across the forehead before, man. And I'm, I was trying to talk, and all the saliva in my mouth just ran out. I couldn't hold it in. And that, those are the type of punches that you can't recover from like instantly, or you you recover throughout rounds from those shots. And I, and I fear if AJ gets hurt, then God might get him out of there.
But AJ, you got to use this right here and your ring generalship. Um, this is a competitive fight. Honestly, in my opinion, I don't really care what no one says. It's a dangerous fight for Anthony Joshua. But is it a play on fighting Tyson Fury's former opponents to see if he can do better than Tyson Fury to kind of set up something? But Tyson Fury got a, got a hill to climb too. And Alexander Uzi, because, you know, Fury should go to the body in that fight. But that's for another video. We ain't going to get on that. I, I ain't even talked about that yet. But we're going to get to it. But Anthony Joshua versus Francis Agano is going to be a great fight. And Anthony's going to have to be super aggressive. And he's going to have he's going to have to stay close to Nangano in order for him not to get hit on the ear with those wild, rangy hooks. He's going to have to get in and smother the punches. That's what he's going to have to do. And he's going to have to use up and unders. Man, you're going to have to dip and sway. None of this pull back. You know, you're going to have to dip. Get up under that son of a gun, man. Dip, move, pivot, and then counter. But you got to stay close to Nengano. He's going to mess around and get caught with one of them wild, rangy hooks. I do favor Anthony Joshua in this fight, but it's dangerous. But Anthony's skill and his experience should, should pull him through. This is Nengano's second professional boxing fight. You remember what he did against Tyson Fury? But then again, Tyson Fury's totally different fighter than Anthony Joshua. Totally different body makeup and everything. We'll see. Two big giants in the ring. Big dudes, man. AJ, I give you the edge, but you better be careful. And you better be training for them wild hooks. What do you think about this? Comment down below. Let your boy Real Talk know. As always, respect all fear. None. God bless. The next time Real Talk Boxing, I'm up and I'm out of here. Bang.